Hello and welcome to this week inside Racer Cross Country. I'm Steve Peek here with head coach Jenny Severance. Coach, a good weekend at the Belmont Opener this week. You want to talk a little bit about that? It was a really good first meet for us. I think we started out a way ahead of where we started last year, which is really good. We still have a little ways to go to be where we want to be by the end of the season, but I'm happy with where we started. We'll start off with the women uh, notching perfect scores against UTM and TSU. Talk a little bit about their performances. I was really happy with where the women started off. We're definitely ahead of where we were last year. We have a really good group of six up top, which are great. And then we have number seven through 12 are like chasing them down. So I'll be excited to see what happens next with that group, the number seven through 12, because I think they'll be right up there with the top six pretty soon. Awesome. And then the men's team, not to probably score against Tennessee State as well. Yeah, that was really big for us. Our guys are a ton better this year. We have a lot of newcomers, and it's really pushing our returners to work hard also. I'm really excited with where the men are going to be this year and what we can do this season. And talking about individual performances, Brittany Bone uh, led the racers, led the women's with uh, finishing 34th in a time just over 19 minutes. Yeah, she had a great race. I think this is the first time she's ever been number one for us for cross country, so that's really exciting for her. She's a junior, and I think she's ready to do something big this year. And then for the men, Cole Cisneros, with a good performance from him, finishing 48th. Uh, talk a little bit about his performance. And, not, and to mention, those two are the Pepsi athletes of the week for Murray State. Yeah, that's really exciting. Uh, Cole had a great race. He ran really smart. It was hot. It was about 91 when the race started. So a lot of people went out a little too fast and he held back the first mile so then he could really push no, mile two and three. So he, he just raced really savvy and had a good race. And uh, overall, what do you take from this weekend? We're progressing well. We're where we need to be. We're not where we want to be at the end of the season, but we're definitely where we need to be right now. I'm just really happy that everybody's out there working their butt off and pushing hard every day. <laughs> Definitely. All right, you guys return to action September 6th. That's the next meet at the EIU, the uh, Walt Crawford Open in Charleston. What are your thoughts about that? I'm really excited to see what the kids can do there. It's a much faster course than the course we ran this past weekend, and I think it's going to be a little bit cooler, which will be really helpful. So I think it'll be a good meet to get some PRs. It's really early in the season for PRs, but I think we definitely have people on the team that are ready to do that. All right, Coach, thank you very much. That'll do it for this week in Racer Cross Country. We'll see you next week.